Hi, Doug, lovely to meet up with you both and do some work on your game over at the studio. Just a quick recap, as promised, about the key pieces that we covered. A lot of this was relating to your takeaway position for old soul from P1 setup to P2 when the shaft is parallel to the ground during the backswing. So we take a little look quickly at your setup. One of the changes that we, that we prescribed started to take place uh, during the time and space of the lesson. But the main thing we were looking at was your ball position at the start of the lesson. This is relating to your setup. You had the ball well back of the left shoulder, which was creating a little bit too much of a downward strike. And as a result, uh, you would go looking for a little bit of loft on the way through. And you were finding it difficult to push the hips forward for long enough. Towards the end of your session, we just tweak your ball position a little bit. Talk to you through the sort of three-dimensional aspects of that. The fact that the more we hit down, the more we hit out. And vice versa. And all we've done there is soften up the angle of attack. Reduce the amount that you're hitting out at the golf ball. And therefore eliminating the potential that we've got to get a little bit steep. And lose the ball out to the right. So we're trying to control the miss and tighten up the shot cone. The other thing that started to happen during your session was that the tilts in your eyes and your neck started to level up all via the work that we were doing on the takeaway because we didn't talk about that we were going to touch on it in the second part of your lesson uh, which is the bottom left footage but when you came back in after working on the takeaway it's almost like the things required for you to make the correct takeaway was those little tweaks in your setup and you started to get them for free so I have no problem with that whatsoever you can see there on the bottom left that the ball position is much more appropriate for the type of shot that you're trying to play so the thing that we noticed early in the piece was that when viewed from face on that left shoulder worked very level sort of pushed you off the golf ball and the other thing when viewed from down the line we saw that the club rolled behind you too much so the club rolls in behind the hands the shoulders don't turn on a tilted angle and the club face was rolling open in relation to the arc of the swing this required you to reroute the golf club at the top and rotate the face quite hard on the way through to prevent the shots being missed to the right unfortunately that requires a lot of timing because we're rolling and then re-rolling if you will on the way down so the key piece that we focused on, we looked at Charlie Wee in the blue t-shirt. That footage is available via YouTube, absolutely no problem getting hold of that. You've also got the stills as well. And what we were trying to do was tr create a different relationship here. We mentioned sort of the old style Ricky Fowler move, where the hands are coming in and the club is staying out. You can see there's a stark contrast there between where you would normally be, top centre, and the other end of the spectrum, if you will, on the far right so obviously we're trying to control the length of backswing it's important that you check it at the correct point and you made a good adjustment there you just move the hands inwards a little bit more because what we're trying to get is a situation where the hands are in and the club is out so you did this a couple of times and this really is the exercise that i want you to practice use a little t get the correct look at p2 so we want the hands to come in the club to stay out and we don't want that club face rolling open one of the things we did mention that as you got better at this drill was that the club face at that point should be a very similar angle to your inclination to the ground so that's just another little checkpoint that you can use as long as the hands are coming in and the club face isn't rolling open we stand a chance when you look at that from face on what you start to see is that as the hands work in and the club stays out the left shoulder works down much more so we're much more stable in the early part of the takeaway. You can see visibly the clubs roll behind you less. After about 45 minutes of doing that, we ask you to rehearse it twice and then hit a shot. And you can see the difference that that drill's made. So you've got sort of one extreme top centre, the other extreme on the far right, top right, and then the balanced swing on the bottom centre. You can see the, the effect that that drill's had after just 45 minutes of using it. From there you're going to find that the club sets in a much more appropriate manner at P3 when the left arm's parallel with the ground and allows you to be less 
flat, if you will, less deep at the top of the backswing. We also noted that there was a little bit less of a gap between the knees, etc. So just an all-round more balanced, uh, more neutral uh, backswing move that you're going to make. Um, there's then, you know, the added effect of the ball position in regards to what sort of path you're creating, what sort of angle of attack you're creating. But the main piece is to is to use or is to work on the takeaway, as you can see there demonstrated on the top right hand image. The amount you practice, the amount you play, you won't overdo that move. What we're looking for is to go from where we were at the start of your session, which is rolled behind and rolled open, to where we are on this footage here, where the hands have come in, the club has stayed out. The club has traced and the hands have traced the plane beautifully. And the club is very square to the arc of the swing during the swing uh, during the early part of the back swing. So no rolling of the club face, no rolling of the shaft. Um, one of the things we did say and we did touch on and I've got the images emailed across to you is that when you're doing this with driver you don't need to do it differently. You just need to do it for longer. It's a bigger arc. Therefore, whatever feel we have, we have to continue for longer. Good luck with it. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop me a line. Um, send me an email, whatever. And if you do want to send some footage over in the coming weeks or months, feel free to do so. Hope you enjoyed your trip, enjoyed your company, and I wish you well in the coming months.